Hi guys, my name is Byfair from RFN, and yes, it's another walking through Forge. And uh, of course, there is, uh, I, I will state again, what I'm going to do is for any good ones that I find, I'll be doing gameplay. For bad ones, not so much. Uh, because I just want to really, I just want to cut to the analysis and be like, yeah. So, <laughs> this particular map I believe is called Sanctum, and I... I do not remember the creator, because it's been ages since I've done this, but please do feel free to shout out in the comments um, if you are the creator of this map. Uh, this map is, don't get me wrong, for a, for a first map and a rookie map, it does some things right and does some things wrong, and we're just going to go through it. Now, first of all, the floating structure in Forge World has been done a billion times before, and I just want to go through and talk about each individual element of the map. Now... The way that he uh, combines some pieces, like the brace lodges and the use of these uh, 4x4 corners, is actually amazing. The central aesthetic isn't bad either. Um, well, the central aesthetic in that room, at least. The, the glass sails are an okayish touch, but not that great. Now, this is a real problem. You've got a sniper rifle on a perch up here, and you don't want anything to be on a place where it's got some kind of vertical advantage. And the reason doing this is because you want the sniper to be accessed, you don't want him to be screwed over, and admittedly, like, you know, this can be still be shot at, but he's got tons of cover and a really big, you know, he can see over the entire map, practically. Another thing, don't use walls, <laughs> wall pieces, wall pieces look terrible, wall coliseums are the ones you should be using, but just the plain wall pieces, unless it's like a wall curved, don't use them. Also, when you use buildings like this, it doesn't really look professional. It looks kind of bad. So, no for that, and a big pro pipe grenade inside it. Also, and uh, you know, weapon placement, I suppose, is good because it's, you know, nothing is out of balance. And he has actually done some. I believe this map is for free for all. He does actually. This thing does actually work, so don't worry about that. He's put kill zones in too, which is good. But uh, there are a few holes, and uh, understandably, with a map like this. One thing, the central kill ball aesthetic. I mean, come on, guys. Seriously? Stop making kill ball aesthetics. Kill balls are fun for trolling with, nothing else. <laughs> I mean, kill ball aesthetics are overdone. They're not professional. They don't look good. So stop doing them. It's, it's not a good idea. And, I mean, you know, uh, this room in particular is actually a little bit odd. I won't lie, because... Uh, well, I'll show you that in later. You've got a couple of pipes in there and all that. And, you know, you've got teleporter up there. And, you know, this this map is, uh, I say again, it's interesting in its structure, and it uses some pieces well. Like, one thing I will say about this is the use of pieces as a simple, uh, the simple textures, like using the use of brace lodges is good, minus the fact that we can see half of them that plonk out. And, uh, I mean, yeah, there's actually another thing. It's good in some areas, but in some other areas, it's terrible. So, for example, uh... Like, I do not like the satellite dishes being meshed together with stairs, because that looks terrible. Uh, you want to, I say again, you want things to be functional, but aesthetic at the same time. And yes, again, no kill balls. No, no, no. And uh, also, in fact, no kill balls in antenna satellites, because to be frank, that is the most overused aesthetic in all of Forge. I shit ye not. Well, the most overused bad aesthetic in all of Forge there. Right, now he's also got areas down here. Now he has actually kill boundary these off, which is a good thing. He has to be very careful of jetpack though, because jetpackers are your worst nightmare on a map like this, because if they find a way to break the map, they will abuse it like hell, and you can be guaranteed of that. So, yeah. That's not good either. Very bad. You need to take that into account. Think of what the player would be doing. Now, here is actually something that's rather interesting. I didn't realize where this cannon went, that cannon back there went first. I'm going to explore that later. But uh, we're actually going to take a look and show things. As far as I can tell, there are actually safe boundaries on this map, so it's good. Unless, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, yeah, we're just going to delete a few things and uh, show you that this map can be broken. Our good old friend, the jetpack, is going to aid us. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to look. And uh, in fact, there is no, there is no, um, yes, this is actually the point I was trying to prove. Never mind, there is no safe boundary. And this means that players, when they actually enter the game, they will be able to go and, you know, they can just do this. Some guy gets the sniper rifle. It's just him, 1v1, he just takes the sniper rifle and decides that he enjoys the island a little bit better. Because let's face it, when you can snipe someone from halfway across the map on the mountain and the person can't kill you, why would you not? You know, it's, it's player mentality. Now this man cannon, 
will shoot you across the other side. I think that's an, it's a neat little thing to do. Like, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with doing man cannons that traverse things. Fast traverses are interesting, but you know, you always need to be very careful when you use them. You don't want it to disrupt map flow too much. So, for example, having them in each other's bases is a very bad one. Like, you can have one that is like, I don't know, take one, say, from uh, Flood's Forerunner Valley, for example. That one, you have man cannons that go to exterior bits of the base and bits very nearby. The reason it works is because it's BTV and it doesn't teleport you to the other guy's freaking base. Now, another thing, you can actually get on these, which is very bad. And then you can also get onto these bits. I am terrible with jetpack though, but yeah, uh, the kill ball in that sense I guess is functional, but it, as I say again, it looks crap. Now this thing, this thing, this is another lift. No, you know, lifts are a nice little feature, but don't, using them is not always the most professional thing. Use it if it makes sense in a map flow perspective, so, I don't know, if you have, uh, say, two lifts to get up to an area that's naturally raised in which players can access in other ways, then that's good, you know, like, uh, think of, um, Think of some of the maps we've seen in Halo 4, that does it. Now, these, this really annoyed me. People do not know about fine editing. Fine edit your pieces so they don't have Z-lag, you know? just It takes like one second, you don't use coordinates, you just use the fine edit, you just push the pieces out, they don't Z-lag, and also try not to overlap textures, because it looks terrible. It looks really bad. It's just, it's, it's very unprofessional. It shows very clearly that you're not that good at Forge if you can't do it. He has done some interesting things with the drop down, but I say again, it's not that great. It's not really, it wasn't necessary. It wasn't, I guess it's necessarily in terms of this map because it's so vertical, but I mean, with this, you need other things like just plain stairs to get up. Now, this uh, back here, I believe, unless I'm going to go to that, there's something else first. Back there by the teleporter. Oh, actually, yes, this is another example of how jetpackers have too much of an advantage. This is a warning against making a, a map that's way too vertical, because if you do that, then you have serious problems with jetpackers, because it's really kind of overpowered. Now, this again, stop with the Z fighting. Like, it takes maybe two seconds to adjust this, and it's really not that hard. I mean, you know, just look up a fine edit tutorial. It really isn't that bad. As long as you know your controller sticks, it's fine. I mean, literally, it, it, I don't understand why people don't know it. It's, it's really bad. But anyway, uh, one, another thing that peeved me a little bit was the fact that the teleporter down there, uh, it will actually, uh, never mind, you can actually walk off the edge. And there's a lot of problems with this map, but it's not that bad. Anyway, my name is Bife, signing off here. Please send me more of your maps and stuff, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.